always knew I wanted to create something. Business has always been part of my blood. I wanted to start my own business. Playday Digital is a kids' entertainment education company. We're creating engaging apps for kids. We're using these devices to bring the characters that kids love to life in an educational way. Bounced. I grew up playing a lot of board games. We played Scrabble and Monopoly and Trivial Pursuit and Shoots and Ladders. We couldn't have imagined the devices like the iPad, smartphones. Although I grew up in a country where there were so many restrictions placed on women, my parents were very open-minded, always encouraged us. My dad never treated us differently because we were girls. Swimming was my passion. But women swimming in Pakistan was a bit of an uphill battle. Unfortunately, I wasn't allowed to swim in the games. Someone in the government basically withdrew my entry. The fact that I would be swimming in a swimsuit in front of a male audience on a world scale wasn't in the cards at that time. I joined Hasbro right after Harvard Business School. I love the brands. I was a brand manager, so we worked with the creative teams and the packaging and marketing and licensing. It was a great job for me to be able to see kind of how the whole ecosystem worked. Kids' tastes change every day, and that was something that I thought was exciting. Why a toy is a toy of the year one year and then nobody looks at it the next. This should say, like, this is a take. This is a take your photo function. I have a colleague at Nickelodeon, Steve Peter. He basically said, "You write a business plan and, and come back to me in a week." And he was excited by by the vision. He became my angel investor in this as well as my co-founder. We create book apps, for example, around My Little Pony. A bright rainbow's glow. You bring the story to life through tappable interactions on the iPad. I think it makes sense to have Optimus say, you've saved the day, great yeah, job. that would be fantastic. We're constantly evaluating the product. We want to make sure that we're not just paying lip service to education and that there is really something in our apps that make it educational for a child. We want to make sure that they are learning while they're having fun. For me, it's, it's personal now that I have an 18-month-old of my own. She's growing up with this technology. She's able to engage with it. It's important to me to have quality content that she's exposed to. Yeah, we're the number one book app right now. Seriously? <laughs> That's amazing. But there's something very special about doing this on your own. It is very rewarding. It's tough. It's all you. If it's a success, it's you. And if it fails, it's you. And I think you can learn a lot from both of those.